Welcome back to Exposing the Dirty Few. Look at that concerned face. Do you know who this is? <laughs> Remember that face. This is what I like to call the powers that shouldn't be. Because we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against politicians, against powers. So, let's just take a look and try not to vomit. You're confirming that accounts have been frozen, both personal and corporate, but you're not releasing the information. And the actual follow-up is, um, I'm just wondering whether the bank accounts will be targeted of individuals who donated to the Give, Send, Go and the GoFundMe campaigns. Are they considered designated people under the Emergencies Act, meaning that their credit cards could be cut and financial services are targeting them as well? Okay, so the names of both individuals and entities as well as crypto wallets have been shared by the RCMP with financial institutions and accounts have been frozen and more accounts will be frozen. Uh, crowdfunding platforms and payment service providers have started the registration process with FinTrack. Uh, in terms of the specifics on whose accounts are being frozen, uh, you now have the regulations. The financial service providers have those regulations as well. And they, working with law enforcement, will be making the operational decision. Um, that was pretty hard to watch. That's, um, yeah. Um, I especially like the bit right at the start there where she's faking concern. Why is it all the bad words add to these numbers? Anyway, on with the show. So that is the Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. It is. So before we get there... <laughs> As we do when we roll here, we take the first sentence out. I don't care what it says, because they wrote it to add to these numbers, because that's what they do. And we, in the rules of numerology, you drop the zero and you get a 33. Um, let's just go to the headline, shall we? The Deputy Prime Minister of Canada. I'm sure she's a wonderful person in the Canadian cabinet. So you got the CC there as well. And we get the number of the beast. 133 being the number of the beast. Just in case you're new here. 603 score and 6 equals 133. And just in case you're really, really new, the number of the beast is the devil. Yes. Yes, it is. That little devil. El Diablo. Num oh, goodness me. It just keeps going on and on forever. Number of the beast. It's all just wonderful. Because it's, it's, it's just an accident. That's all it is. Um, so let's... Why isn't her name here? I mean, I have to actually go further into this cesspit of ghoulishness. Okay, her name is Christ. She's got the Christ in her name, for goodness sake. And her surname's Freeland? How much more mockery can you get when her name is Freeland? The Honourable? <laughs> Let's just take a look. Hmm, no, nothing. We'll take out the, uh, Christy. Uh-oh. So she's freezing bank accounts. And as you probably all know, that 32 degrees Fahrenheit is frozen, and 33 degrees Fahrenheit is when water turns to ice.
just make sure you get close to God. Make sure you love your brothers and sisters. Oh, and dirty few. <laughs> Fuck you. Especially. 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 In the new world order. Yeah, baby. <laughs> Say what now, what now? I'm not, not a joke. Of course. Alrighty then. I'd call that a big yes. Simples. I found a code hidden deep inside our own language system. Oh, oh, they, they're using our own language against us. And the clock is ticking.